Hi there and welcome to Financial. We are a financial wellness channel dedicated to helping you take control of your money and build your dream life. If you're new here and like what we're about, then subscribe to our channel and please like this video so that more people can be helped just like you. So today I'm going to run through with you how you can pay off debt really fast and become debt free. Becoming debt free isn't just for the wealthy, it's something that any of us can do. All we need is a simple step-by-step plan that we can follow. Let's do it. So there are two main ways of paying off debt really fast. The debt snowball method and the debt avalanche method. And in this video, we're going to be tackling the debt snowball method. And this is the method that I use to pay off over £25,000 worth of debt 10 years ago now. It's also the method that we use in the financial playbook, a step-by-step guide to being financially well. And you can find more about that actually if you click the link. Okay, pen and paper ready? Let's go. Step one, list all your debts, smallest to largest. So just get a piece of paper, start putting them down. These could be things like small debts, so your overdraft or a mobile phone credit agreement or small amounts of money that you may owe to friends or family. Coming all the way up to credit cards, bank loans, car loans. It could be a car finance deal. You know, we include that on our list as well. But just get on paper all your debts and you list them from smallest value all the way down to the largest value. A really good tip actually is check out a credit score website like Experian, Credit Karma. Try and find out about debts that you may not have remembered about or that you've forgotten about the capital amounts. That's a really quick way of pulling together your list of debts. Step two, you're going to do your budget. So you may be really good with budgeting. You may already have one or you may be brand new. And don't worry, we do have a really good video about doing your budget, which you can check out. But if you've not done it before, then let's start with the basics. You list your income at the top of the budget. So all the different income streams that come into your household. If your finances are joint, it might be joint income. But if if it's solo income, then you list that. And then you list all your expenses. So everything that goes out in a month and make sure to include sinking funds. Try to remember all your expenses. One tip is to go back through your bank account and have a look what kind of money you are spending on a monthly basis and use that as a guide to produce just a really rough budget at first to understand what expenses are going out. Step three, your excess. So your excess is what's left over when you take your income and you minus off your expenses. And in every month you will have an excess. Now for some people this may be a minus, but we'll handle that in a minute, so don't worry. But for others you'll have a number and that's your excess. Now in the financial community, your excess is very, very important. It's kind of like your monthly profit. And this is the figure, this is the number that we use to throw at whatever stage you're in and whatever goal you're working towards. Step four, use your excess to smash your debts. So your excess is the amount left over that you can use to throw at your smallest debt. And this is where the debt snowball comes in. If you pay all your minimum payments as part of your expenses and you have an excess left over, what we want you to do is we want you to take that excess and throw it at your smallest debt. Now say for example your excess is £100 and your smallest debt is a £100 phone credit agreement, what we want you to do is take the £100 and pay off the phone agreement immediately. The minute you've worked out your excess, you take £100, you ring up the phone company and you pay off that. And what you've been able to do by then is next month, in next month's budget, you won't have the minimum payment that's connected to the phone credit agreement because you've just paid it off. And this is where the snowball comes in because say, for example, of your um, mobile phone bill, £15 a month went to Towards paying that credit, you have just gained £15 a month. Now, if you think you have £100 excess and you add the £15 to it, your excess this month is now £115. So you take the £115 and you pay it off the next debt, which could be, say it was a £230 for argument's sake credit card. So next month, you're going to take £115 as well as paying the minimum payments you're going to pay 115 off it. You're going to ring the card company, you're going to log in online, you're just going to pay it at the beginning of the month and forget about it. And then the next month, you've still got 115 excess, but the, the balance on your credit card is probably under 115 once you've applied the previous monthly payment. And suddenly, you, you've knocked another debt off. And for example, if that monthly payment was £30, you now will have an excess of £145 a month, when actually two months ago, or three months ago, you only had 100 excess. And this is how you do the snowball method. And this is how taking the monthly payments that would have been on an old debt and throwing it at a new one and having that snowball effect 
helps you gain momentum, get small wins along the way and really smash through your debt really quickly. Step five, squeeze your budget. Now this is your opportunity to cut expenses as far as you're willing to go to to grow your excess so that you have a bigger excess to throw at your debt. This could be things like reviewing subscriptions that you've not looked at in a while. It could be reducing your food spend, meal planning, being a bit more prepared. It could be using deal websites and cashback to bring down the price of things. Anything you can do in a particular month that squeezes your budget, squeezes it like a lemon and gets everything out of it, means what, what you get out of it is more money to go towards your excess, which is more money to smash against your debts. Now I've got an extra tip. If you have any credit agreements or loans where the interest rate is a little high and you really want to see if you can get it down, then do it. Shop around, see if you can move and balance transfer from credit cards or improve the rates on your loan. Even ring companies up and just explain, is there anything that they can do? Just remember, this doesn't do much. This is, this. a lot of people do this and think, whoa, I've done, I've switched my rate. I'm doing really, really well. No, no. It's not doing much. It's just bringing down that monthly payment and it's bringing down the amount of interest that grows. But we want to pay off this debt far quicker than any interest rate will really impact you. But it's a really easy way to just get a bit of extra movement and give you a little bit of a win. Extra, extra tip, try look for ways to increase your income. There's loads of videos online about increasing your income. We're going to do some as well. This is all part of growing the excess because don't forget, the higher the income, the higher the excess also. Now, this process is covered in much more detail in the financial playbook, but I really wanted to give people a snapshot step-by-step guide that people could follow and use and pause it and work through. You know, please put in the comments below if there's things that we've missed that would be helpful. If you want to share your wins of using this method, I want to share a message that I got on Instagram today because it really really has impacted me and it just shows how amazing the process can be. Now our followers and community members are using this method daily to win with their money and become debt free. I'm going to read you a message now from Instagram. Hi, I just want to send you a quick appreciation message. My partner and I had resided ourselves to being in credit card debt forever as we saw no way out. I couldn't find any useful advice other than IVAs or remortgaging which we weren't prepared to do. I came across your page and read all your posts and watched your videos. Long story short, we now have a very clear and straightforward plan to clear our £30,000 debt over 17 months. I bet they can beat that as well. We drafted our numbers four times as it seemed too good to be true and we both felt quite emotional. I just wanted to say a huge thank you. No one has ever provided this sort of help and straightforward planning before and made the concept of being debt free for the super wealthy only. We both can't wait to get cracking with clearing our debts and finally living our lives and being able to sleep at night. Well, firstly, to the person that sent me that, thank you so much. It made my Monday morning. But This is the reality of what this kind of process can do. It can really change lives. And that person is absolutely right. There is no content in mainstream media about how to become debt free. And it's kind of this secret thing. So society is throwing finance at you, you know, monthly car costs this and finance this and, you know, spend it on the credit card, buy the shoes, life's too short. But there's nothing to help people when we get in above our heads and it's quite stressful. And so this is a really easy plan that does work. And it's you doing it. It's you grinding out the wins. It's celebrating small ones and do anything you can. You know, people have debt free charts. You know, that's a really good idea the way you can track your progress and celebrate small wins. And also picture what you're going to do when you're debt free. Are you going to have a party? Are you going to go on holiday? Are you going to indulge in something that you have gone without during this process? I want to now leave you with one final thought. When you are debt free, that excess finally can go to you. It can finally go to things that help enrich your life. It can go to big, big savings pots. It can go to home deposit goals. It can go to buying an investment property. It can go into investing in the market and growing wealth for the future. And that is how you build your dream life. Really hope you enjoyed this video. We're so new to this. So please like, share, subscribe, anything you can do to help us grow our small, small channel to help many more people. Speak soon.